Hello friends and welcome back. This is Dr. Janardhan Pawar. In this video, we are going to talk about MCQ question, MCQs of business regulatory and framework. Especially, uh, I'm going to cover topic number three, that is sale of goods act 1930. And I'm going to discuss 20 MCQs of this particular topic. Mitranno, just like you know, we will start with our first question. And business regulatory framework has a plus subject. एच्छात्लिया तिसर्या सब्जेक्ट बद्दल आज आपन MCQ बगना रहोत आणि हाँ जो सब्जेक्ट आहे हाँ जो टॉपिक आहे तो आहे सेल ऑफ गुड्स एक्ट 1930 या टॉपिक चे 20 क्वेश्चन आपने इसे डिस्कस करना रहोत आणि नंतर चे वीडियो में जो सुधा आपन 20 क्वेश्चन आंखी डिस्कस करना रहोत सो आई रिक्वेस्ट यू ऑल टू वॉच दिस वीडियो uh, subscribe my channel if you are not subscribed so far and uh, that's why my channel is not subscribed if you are not subscribed to my channel subscribe to my channel so if you like this video so if you press the bell icon so if you like this video so if you like this video notifications so if you like this video so if you like this video those who are new those who are not subscribed to my channel so far they have to subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon so that they will get this kind of notifications in future also about new videos that I prepare. Now starting with the first question of this particular uh, subject. question question. What is the purpose behind the enactment of Sale of Goods Act 1930? Uh, sale of Goods Act 1930 enact karne enforce So these are the uh, options to define the laws relating to the sale of goods to consolidate and amend the laws relating to the sale of goods to consolidate amend and define the laws relating to the sale of goods and to define and amend the laws relating to the sale of goods we are going to see the first and the right option we are going to see the right option of this question ya pehla question ta pan right option baguyat ka hai to right option and to right option ahe ya kaida cha uddesh anna cha uddesh ekach hota to define and amend the laws relating to the sale of goods so how the pila prashna dusra prashna bagu at upon section dusra prashna hai section 2 subsection 1 of sale of goods act defines buyer as kalam don no sar and is up kalam ek no sar buyer sale of goods act make a sir defined kele la hai the options are a person who buys goods and services jivakti goods and services we could get a person who agrees to buy goods they are rusty person who buys or agrees to buy goods person who buys or agrees to buy goods and services so these are the options and the option pick up on the way put option borrow over a hey the borrow over option a hey person who buys or agrees to buy goods a option a hey that is the person that's a correct with the right this round we are going to see the third question now before the enactment of sale of goods act the provisions regarding sale of goods were contained in and the options are Indian Contract Act in 1872, Indian Registration Act 1908, Transfer of Property Act 1882, Indian Partnership Act 1932. Sale of Goods Act in Agudra Konta Kaida Hota Sudan and the correct options are or correct option is Indian Contract Act 1872. Hate is the correct Uttara. So the question which of the following cannot be said? to be included in the terms in the term goods defined under section 2 subsection 7 of the sale of goods act uh, section 2 subsection 7 no sir goods ya sankalpane madhe konti ghost evu shakat nahi and options at stock b shares c growing crops and d actionable auction, act, actionable claims the correct option is actionable claim teja madhe evu shakat nahi question number 5 which of the following most appropriately describes the term sale as per the sale of goods act 1930 uh, sale of goods act 1930 nusar sales che definition konti sangli ahe asthana manase kutli sangli jast appropriate asu shakil uh, options are a contract whereby seller transfer the property in goods a contract whereby seller transfer or agrees to transfer the property in goods to the buyer for a price a contract where transfer of property in the goods is to take place of a future time a contract where transfer of the property in goods is to take place be subject some condition thereafter to be fulfilled and the correct option for this question number five is a, a contract whereby seller transfer or agrees to transfer the property in goods to the buyer of a, for a 
प्राइस हा करेक्ट ऑप्शन है क्वेश्चन नंबर सिक्स वेन डज एन एग्रीमेंट टू सेल बिकम अ सेल एज पर द प्रोविजन ऑफ सेल ऑफ गुड्स ऐक्ट अशा सेल ऑफ गुड्स ऐक्ट थर्टीनुसार कभी एग्रीमेंट हा सेल ऑफ सेल हो शको एंड द ऑप्शन आर वेन द सेलर ट्रांसफर द प्रॉपर्टी इन गुड्स वेन द सेलर एग्रीज टू ट्रांसफर द प्रॉपर्टी इन गुड्स वेन द टाइम इलेप्सेस और द कंडीशन सब्जेक्ट्स टू विच द प्रॉपर्टी इन द गुड्स इज टू बी ट्रांसफर्ड आर फुलफिल्ड एग्रीमेंट टू सेल इज डीम टू बी सेल हे ऑप्शन है वी आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट द करेक्ट ऑप्शन एंड द करेक्ट ऑप्शन इज वेन द टाइम इलेप्सेस or the condition subject to which property in the goods is to be transferred or fulfilled these are the or this one is the correct option question number 7 now what can be the subject matter of the contract of a sale as per section 6 of the sale of goods act uh, sale of goods act no sir contract of sale kya hai as tan nahi vicharay se and the options are only existing goods owned or purchased by the owner only future goods existing goods which are neither owned or nor purchased by the owner existing goods owned or purchased by the owner or future goods the options are correct options are or the correct option is existing goods owned or purchased by the owner or the future goods question number 8 where in a contract of sale and seller purports to effect the present sale of the future goods the contract operates as a contract of sale an agreement to sell the goods a contract of sale or agreement to sell it is not a valid contract and the correct option is an agreement to sell the goods question number 9 in a contract for sale of specific goods the goods without the knowledge of seller perished at the time when the contract was made the contract is the options are avoidable contract at the insurance of seller avoidable contract at the insurance in instance of buyer Avoidable contract subject to approval of the civil court. Avoid contract and the correct option is avoid contract. Question number ten: A contract of sale may be made a uh, a in writing or word of mouth, partly in writing, of partly by word of mouth, by the implied conduct of parties. All of the above and the correct option for this is all of the above. Question number eleven: A uh, <coughs> A is a stipulation essential to maintain purpose of the contract and the breach of uh, which gives rise to a right to the treat the contract as repudiated and the correct option and the options are condition warranty disclaimer and guarantee and the correct option for this question number 11 is condition uh, question number 12 A is a stipulation collateral to maintain purpose of the contract and the breach of which gives rise to a right to claim or for damages but not to a right to reject goods and treat the contract as repudiated and the options are condition warranty terms of contract disclaimer and the correct option is warranty question number 13 in the contract of sale there is an implied warranty that options are seller has a right to sell the goods the buyer has the right to have and enjoy the quiet possession of goods only the goods shall be free from any charge or encumbrance the buyer has the right to have and uh, enjoy the quiet possession of goods and that the goods shall be free from the any change or encumbrance and the correct option is the last one that is d question number 14 when goods when the when does the proper property in the goods pass to the buyer in case of contract for the sale of specific or ascertained goods these are the options when the contract for sale is made when the parties to the contract intend to intend it to be transferred when the price is paid for the goods when the delivery for of goods are, have been has been made and the correct option is when the parties to the contract intend to intend it to be transferred Question number fifteen. Now, choose the most appropriate answer unless otherwise agreed. The goods remain at seller's risk until the options are: the goods have been delivered to the buyer, the goods have been utilized by the buyer, the price to the goods has been received by the seller, the property therein has been transferred to the buyer. And the correct option for this question number fifteen is that is last. The property therein has been transferred to the buyer. Question number sixteen. when is the sale by mercantile agent who is in the possession of the goods or documents of the title the to the goods not valid 
when the mercantile agent acts in the ordinary course of business when the buyer is acting in good faith and uh, number c when the buyer acts in good faith and has noticed that the seller has no authority to sell at time uh, time of the contract of sale when the owner has expressly authorized the act and the correct option is uh, c question number 17 in which of the following cases the unpaid seller cannot exercise the right of lien on goods in this possession or in his possession and the options are where goods have been sold out sold without any stipulation regarding credit where the goods have been sold on credit but the term of the credit has expired where the buyer becomes insolvent where the goods have been sold on credit but the term of credit has not expired so these are the options and the correct option is when the goods have been sold on credit but the term of credit has not expired so these are the option question number 18 which of the following does not fall in the category of goods goods check category with the kai et nai stock and mushers money and auctionable claims growing crops and grass things attached to or farm to or farming the part of land which are agreed to be served before sale or under contract of sale and the option is correct stock and shares question number 19 a contract of sale can be uh, absolute only conditional only absolute or conditional conditional only when the consent of the buyer and the correct option is absolute or conditional both question number 20th where the transfer of the property in the goods is to take place at a future time or subject to some condition then such contract is called an agreement to sale a contract to sale future contract conditional contract and the correct option is an agreement to sale mulanno mala vatte ha video to mala avadla sel jar video avadla sel tar like kara tasach video share kara tumche mitranna maitrinna jene kon tanna fayda mile and sarvat mahatvachi gosht comment kala visru naka jene karun tumhala anki asha prakarche sangle videos milatil mitranno ite thambuvet dusre videos sathi apan punna bhetuyat dhanyawad